Hello, welcome to Varaski247 and in today's tutorial I'll be teaching you how to integrate pay stack subscription payment on your web application and if this is your first time in this channel and you haven't subscribed yet do so by hitting that red subscription down below and also don't forget to turn on the notification icon bell so when I release new videos you'll be the first to see it okay without wasting much of our time let's dive right into it all right i'll be showing you my starter file this is what i have here index initialize and receiver all in php format okay so this is my index.php where i have um, a subscription home page okay this is what i have here input field with an email then here i'll be selecting the number of months which we want to be charged this is what i have here okay all right, um, we will move over to Paystack, their website, okay, the subscription page. What you can see here, to, in order to set up a subscription, we need to what? First thing we need to do is to create a plan, create a subscription, then listing for our subscription payments. All right, but as we are using PHP, we are going to change it to PHP, and this is the code we will be needing in order to create our plan. But before then, before this code, it's going to be wrong we need to trigger uh, our code when we push this button when we push this subscribe button so to do that we're going to first of all include our database connection database okay um, this is my database connection where I have my connections. Okay. The next thing we use an if statement. Subscribe. All right, what this definitely means if we push the button and the value is not empty, if it has a value of subscribe in our HTML form here, as we can see, the name is subscribe, okay, and the value is not empty, it has a value of what subscribe. So when we push that button, then the rest of the codes will run. All right, but before then, what we have in our input is our email, we insert in our email here and what the number of months in pay stack is called the invoice limits so we're going to define the variable of the email So next thing up is limits, okay, this will pick up the value we will be insulting as number of times we want to be charged, okay, so in our email, we will have the name as email, then for number of months, for this name, we we'll have what invoice underscore limits, so that's what we're going to add here. Okay. All right. Now I'm going to go to Paystack website and copy out our create plan code that has been provided. It's in core. Okay. So let's show the response. Okay. When this code runs, this is the result we are going to get here. Okay. This is what we are going to get here. So we're going to copy that. Right. Um, I want to change this to a normal bracket. Change this as well.
okay we are going to be, be making some few changes here to align with what we have in our code okay so we we'll give the name of the subscription we'll give it a name of works just give it a member only subscription the interval okay yeah according to paystack you can uh, choose any interval you want how you want to be charging the customer if you want to charge the customer daily you can put in there daily weekly monthly quarterly and annually whichever one you want but for this tutorial i'm going to leave it at monthly the next thing up is our amount okay um our amount will be from what we have here what we have is 1000 naira so i'm going to change this to 1000 i remember in paystack uh, we have to leave all your uh, your amount in kobo so you need to add extra two zeros okay to your 1000 all right and um, then put a comma what else can we add here okay for this tutorial if we leave this as it is here like this that means the customer will be charged indefinitely but we don't want that we just we we'll have a platform where the customer will choose the number of times he or she wants to be charged okay so we're going to add what invoice limit okay so invoice limit we're going to add it there okay then we're going to give it a variable so it will pick up whatever the user have in its input okay give it a variable what limit all right okay next thing up here we're going to be adding our secret key as provided here our secret key so we'll go to paystack um this is my paystack this is my settings i went to my settings so to get your our secret key for test you come over here then copy this once you have copied that then you paste it over the secret key all right so um when this code runs okay and response variable is being occurred this is what we are going to have here okay all right so after we we have created our plan next thing is create a subscription so the step here there are two ways to do that we can add our plan to his transaction so that's what we're going to be doing all right so when we get back here that line um, I'll give it a new variable of what data my aim here is to try and extract access the plan code which we have created okay which is what we have here all right so I'm going to use a function name JSON underscore the code so i'm going to pass the response variable in that function okay so if you vadom this data just like i said earlier this is what you're going to get all right so now how do we assess our plan code okay Give a new variable name as plan code underscore code. Then so we use an arrow to access it. So when you head back here, as you can see when this response is being echoed, that this is what we're going to get. So for us to get it, so we need to pass through this data. After that data, then we'll get our plan code. So that is what we're going to be doing here. So data first, then our plan 
underscore pro. Remember, it has to be the same with what Paystar have on their website. Okay, I have to check the spelling. So this is going to retrieve our plan code. So next thing, after we have added our plan code to our subscription, then we're going to what initialize our uh, transaction, which is what we have here. So we want to change this. Show our response. So this is what we're going to have when this code runs. So we're going to copy this. So I'll be pasting this in our initialize what initialize.php file. Okay. So um what I'll be doing here, I'll be adding, I'll be include this PHP file. Initialize that PHP here. I'll clean it here. Clean it once. Okay. So what we are going to do here is um. Okay, we are going to pass the customer's email address in this uh, field okay to do that since we have included this file here and the variable is what email so i want to pass it there and email. an amount the amount has to be the same with what we have when we created our plan okay so we're going to add 1000 extra two zeros in kobo then remember the plan we got from our response okay the variable is what plan underscore code so that is what we are going to pass here as well all right so the next changes we are going to have here is our secret key i think we have gotten that here so i'm going to copy this And paste it right here all right so when this uh, code runs and this uh, result is being executed this is what we're going to have all right so next thing we're going to do here is to want to comment this out Then the variable name initialize, initialize underscore data. So, um, what do I need here? So what I need here is this authorization URL. This is where we are going to be check out and make our payments. Okay. So once we have initialized the payment, we need to redirect the user to that URL. Okay. So I'm going to access this URL here. All right. To access it, I need to pass through this data. Then I get to this URL. So I'll give a variable name initialization underscore URL. I'm going to pass through this data all right then so remember um, this JSON underscore decode we used it so they can be able to access the data as an object okay so after this initialize underscore data then we have the data before we get our authorization URL so data.
All right, you need to be careful of the spelling, okay? Authorization underscore URL. All right, okay. So next thing we're going to do, I'm going to use an if statement now. If So I'm going to concatenate that um, this variable has the URL we are going to be checking out and making the payment. So we're going to concatenate it with the header location. All right. All right. Okay, we're going to save that. So, um, I think this is the basic thing we need. So, as we have created our plan, we have created our subscription. Next thing up is to what listen to our subscription. Okay, this is where Paystack will be sending events to our server. We are going to be accessing in order to update our database. That's if in case we want to give value to our database once the user have subscribed successfully. All right. So, but before then, we're going to be testing our code right now. So, I'm going to come here and refresh this. All right. Okay. In order to subscribe, I'm going to enter my email. Unfortunately, I have one email at the moment, so I'm going to use the same email with the one I have with Paystack. So most of the email notifications I'll be getting uh, will go to the same email address. Okay. So I will use JH. Then here, I'm going to be choosing the number of months, okay, that I want to be charged for. So I'm going to click on subscribe. And okay, so don't forget, um, this code won't work if you don't have SSL certificates uh, installed on your local host. So if you have not done that and you don't know how to do that, you can watch my previous video. Just click on this iCard, right? So you know how to integrate that on your warm server or zam server oh he threw an error so syntax error unexpected semicolon on line 5 in our initialize.php file okay um all right this is where i made a mistake what i should have there is a comma all right Save that, go back, and we're going to try that again. Now remember, if you have gotten value to this tutorial, please don't forget to subscribe. Another error undefined variable initialization underscore URL and online 32. Initialization. All right, so there's a spelling error here. You need to put an I here. See, you need to be careful while defining your variable. I'm going to refresh this again. All right, it's coming up. Okay, um, 
this is what we have here so we're going to make our payment now remember i'm making use of the same email address the one i have with paystack so i'll be receiving my payment receipts and payment uh, proof on every in the same email all right so i'm going to click on this remember this is just a text environment then click on pay all right our payments was successful all right so i'm going to i'm supposed to receive an email notification from paystack so i'm going to check my email now sometimes it takes time for me to get the email in my box all right here we have the email okay all the emails are here you have subscribed to member monthly subscription by vara skill 247 as we can see here okay this email will goes to the customer whoever that has subscribed okay it's because i'm using same email for both the paste tag uh, application environment and the user so this receipt should also go towards the customer okay no no this is this should go to the owner of the website right then this this receipt should now go to the customer so i'm going to check my pay stack um uh, subscriptions to know whether it's reflected in our uh application okay while we wait for it i'm going to go to um the subscription so the last step here is to listing for our subscription payments okay events are used to track subscription so when a subscription is being created okay so um so this is the some of the event the pay stack will send to our server okay let's check this okay all right when we click on this event Okay, in order to uh, receive events using web URL, okay, this is where I will be making use of my uh, receiver.php file, okay. In order to do this, here are the instructions, here are some things to note why it's not the web URL. One is if using .ht access, okay. Um, another is to do a test post to your URL and ensure that the script gets the post on the thirdly is to ensure your web URL is publicly available. Localhost URL cannot receive the event. So we cannot receive events in our local host, but I have a sample code which we can use to receive our events sent from Paystack. Okay. So this is what we are going to do. We are going to copy this. Already, I've already done that. So when you copy this now, paste it here. This is this is where I have. So Paystack provided this and this one lastly okay so but i'm going to explain this code for you so um this is the code we will have once uh event has been sent to our database but before then remember to add the webbook url to your paystack application okay all right um uh, our subscription have already done it up as you can see it's working perfectly as expected all right so this is what we have the subscription is on everything is fine but before then i'm going to show you how to add your web url to your paystack uh settings in your api and webhooks so when you click on api and webhooks we're going to scroll down to either your test environment or live environment but you know that uh, webhook events can't be sent on local host as stated in the uh, uh, guideline okay so sorry so what you'll be adding here is your url like for example h if you're on live https for slash www dot 
whatever the name of your website is for example example.com forge like the php file receiver at php and you save that okay this is what you do all right just like here so so going to this So some of the events that I'll be sent to our server are here, which are what for the subscription once they are being created. This is the kind of event this is what we're going to be getting. Okay. So this is what we are going to be assessing and also insert whatever value we want in our database. So as you can see here, our status we passed through this. This event was first of all was decoded, so we're going to be able to assess it as an object. Then to get our status which is this will pass through the data then our status okay which we have here then on customer code this event first then data customer customer code so for under customer code we'll go through this data first then what else do we have the data then customer code which is this this is customer then customer code all right so same thing was done to all others okay this is the, we did the same for to get our first name of the user that made the payment and also his or her last name as well then we concatenated the both variables to to be their full name and gave it a variable name of what full name we also assessed the time when the subscription was created which is this okay and also got the customer's uh email event data customer email all right like again event data customer then email all right so that is that so after that um i gave a new variable name check so I check this event and assess the main event. Sorry. So the main event is what? What's, what's the uh, string that is being passed? Subscription.create. So that is what I checked here. This will trigger uh, uh, this function. So we can be able to insert the value we have assessed from paystack. So insert it into our database. Okay. So when it's check if this the uh, this event is equal to subscription dot p uh, dot create this rest of the code will run this is my database connection i use prepare statement after preparing i binded it and started it in our database okay with our database name of what customer names of what this this and that okay this the code is quite explanatory right so then now pass the whole variables we want to insert into our database so and we'll go to our database i'm sure you know how to create your tables and all that okay but if you don't know this is what we have in our uh, database name paste that on the subscription that is what we have okay um this is just it all right so after we abandoned our parameter to this uh strings our family strings one two three four five six pass these variables in it then we executed our statement closed our statement and also closed our database connection now should a customer should uh, wants to access this page uh i will the, the customer will redirect it to another url okay even though i don't have the file in my uh in my folders so that is what we have here then we we'll have our http response code showing that uh, we received the event sent from paystack to our server so guys uh if you learned a new thing in this tutorial please don't hesitate to hit that subscription button and also don't forget to like this video like this video so that it will encourage me more to produce more awesome videos as well okay and i will see be seeing you guys next time bye bye